Oh, Melinda Pereira is a comedian from Sri Lanka who is now based uh, in Austria. And we met during the three years that he lived and worked in Ireland as a stand-up comedian. And became great friends. We did a podcast episode together. Hello, welcome back to Al Talks. This podcast I started three years ago to chronicle me starting stand-up. Uh, so it, this podcast is a weekly podcast. It comes out once a week. And this is just a small little introduction video into the podcast. So down below in the description of each episode, you can go to my link tree and find links to everything connected to me. This podcast is available on YouTube, which you're watching it on right now, and also on Spotify. Um, but yeah, that is just a small introduction into this podcast and everything that goes along with it. Hello, welcome back to Al Talks Podcast. Um, I have lots and lots of things to discuss. Uh, it's I spent pretty much a week up in Dublin. I was there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and. Oh, Jesus, I was really tired. Um, yeah, so Melinda was leaving the country due to financial and personal reasons. So it was last week in Dublin. For those of you who don't know, Melinda Pereira is a comedian from Sri Lanka who is now based uh, in Austria. And we met during the three years that he lived and worked in Ireland as a stand-up comedian and became great friends. We did a podcast episode together, which I will drop in the... Oh, God. <sighs> in the description below. Like I said, I'm very tired. But, uh... But yeah, I'm back recording. Yes, so, um, uh, what is the computer doing? I don't know. But anyway, um, like I said, I've lots to talk about. So, on Sunday night, Melinda was gigging at the Crunch. So, I went down to see him perform there. Um, the Comedy Crunch in Dublin is a great comedy club. Uh, I was out actually my only second time to be there. I don't. Because it's on, it's on three times a week. But usually those three days, I usually have gigs myself. Like Monday and Tuesday, be open mic days and stuff like that. So there isn't always opportunity for me to go down and watch it. So it was good to see, come down and watch that show. Which is good. And then Monday night, I hit up Cheeky Monkey Comedy Club for an open mic spot. Which was good. Um... Uh, it's gone into me for bed. Wait. Um, I'm looking for my comedy notebook, but it's in a different bag, and I don't want to go get it. But yeah, Cheeky Monkey Comedy Club was good. Had a good overall performance. Um, I actually had, yeah, it was a... As in terms of like evaluation of comedy performance, I really enjoyed performing that set. It was very fun. It was a good energy in the room, and I really enjoyed performing there. So it was great fun. And then after that, I went over to see two great comedians work in progress shows: uh, Chris Kent from Cork and Jared Farley. They were doing their work in progress shows, so I went to see them. Uh, Two great sets. They did an hour each, which was really good. Uh, so that was the Monday night. On Tuesday, um, as like I said, Belinda was leaving that week. So the last ever open mic at the Black Sheep happened for into Dublin. I think I think it was like 14 comedians altogether. 13, 14 comedians. Good, like a great lineup of comics. Really fun night. Um, good crowd as well. Um, some very fun moments with the crowd during that show. And then on the penultimate night, 
the on Friday the la- last ever comedy show at the Tour of Dublin. Um, only eight people showed up, which was really disappointing. For the last show, you kind of would have expected a bigger crowd, but there were actually quite a lovely crowd, and there was a woman there who just, you know, <laughs> she just kept, uh, like, it wasn't the heckling so much as more kind of, uh, she just couldn't help herself but talk, really. <laughs> I suppose it, it was kind of heckly, but it just, it was just, I, she was very, very fun, and afterwards she was chatting to one of the comedians, she was like, oh, I really enjoyed the show, that was great, and stuff like that. But it was, yeah, it was very, very fun. Um, it was a nice farewell show. Is this fine now? As I might have mentioned, like I said, um, I met Melinda a couple of years back, and he's been a great friend to me, and it was great to perform gigs with him, both at different shows and his own club, and very grateful, though, grateful for those opportunities. Fortunately, he has now moved to Austria. But, you know, Austria is not that far away from Ireland, so definitely be a visit planned in the future. As for myself, oh, actually, another thing. On that Friday night, um, Tamar Catman was at the Laughter Lounge in Dublin. He popped over to say goodbye to Melinda. Uh, Tamar and Melinda became friends when he moved to Europe, and Tamar is a huge comic from the US. Somebody had been following for a very, very long time. And it was great to meet him, talk about comedy and stuff like that. And I asked him, you know, because he has lived, he's been, he's from New York. Or, he moved to New York with his family when he was young, from Egypt. And then he moved over to L.A. He's also lived in London, Switzerland, uh, not Switzerland, Sweden, and now Berlin. So he has been a comic in a lot of places far and near. So it was great to talk to him, but, you know, I asked him, uh, basically a conversation about comedy, like how to have it, or any other comics, and which places he liked best and stuff, and I told him a bit about myself, it was great to meet uh, Tamar, but in terms of, like, yeah, like I said, I did an uh, open mic, and then I've got the show coming up this week in Burr, uh, which I'm looking forward to. That's a uh, Shomer's Pre. Where the hell is It's on the 7th. Hello, yes, there's my candle. Yeah, it's on the 7th. Uh, after that, I won't about two months or so. Uh, no, I, I, I've, I've become, I have stuff to do. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be doing comedy. I'm taking a bit of a break. Share some things. So there's uh, my last show that I've booked. I might actually, yeah, I might be waiting on board for maybe one show. Um, can't remember. This might be like I applied for a show ages back. Maybe they might not. I don't know. Uh, we shall see. But. For now, currently, that is all. What are we at time wise here? Yeah, I think I might end it there. Um, like I said, did an awful lot over the last couple of days last week. Um, like I said, I link my podcast episodes with Melinda down below, and I suppose next week's episode will be from. be about the show that I do on Friday so looking forward to that and in the future like I said I won't, won't be gigging for two months but I will be working on the channel and stuff I'll be bringing out new series it's, well not new series but a continuing new stuff that I've started doing especially the um, what the what you might call it the compilation videos and the Compilation videos and the what you might call it, the bloopers, so I'll be seeing a lot more of them in the future. But that's about it. Uh, as per usual, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for all support. 
all the links down below for stuff and uh, i should see you all next week uh, bye bye